Hello everybody, I would like to welcome uh, those who join us for uh, tonight's lesson. Uh, I would like uh, to show you uh, how to prepare to the game. Preparation is very important uh, in the chess player life. And uh, you, you can uh, prepare at home, you can solve puzzles, you can watch tournaments that uh, uh, played by st strongest, uh, by top players in the world. You can analyze your own games, but uh, how you can prepare to the game uh, played in the particular tournament. One of the examples is my game uh, played in the uh, first uh, US Senior Championship in uh, 2019 versus Grandmaster Max Dugi. I don't play much re recent years, uh, so uh, I don't uh, follow uh, the theory and it's very hard to play in the tournaments after long, long break. In this uh, game, uh, I played with black, and uh, during uh, the game preparation, I paid attention that uh, Max is playing a lot of games online. And uh, many players uh, who uh, play online uh, play uh, d4, d5, bishop f4 variation. This variation became uh, very popular uh, uh, nowadays. And uh, initial task of this uh, move was to avoid the theory, but now when thousands of games uh, have been played by this uh, line uh, online, uh, even uh, this rare variation has its own theory. Uh, during uh, preparation uh, before the game, I paid attention that uh, Max uh, was following uh, to the games played by another uh, very strong online player, Andrew, Cha and Andrew uh, Tang. Uh, you, you can uh, know him uh, under the nick Penguin. And one of the uh, Andrew Tang games was very interesting and I uh, found extremely nice idea. So I decided to analyze the line and uh, to go uh, to that uh, idea. I played knight f6, e3, c5. Uh, here uh, there are a few uh, lines. Uh, white can play knight f3, knight c3, also uh, c3 is possible, but uh, Andrew uh, Tank played d takes c5, trying to grab the pawn on c5. Now uh, there are few uh, opportunities uh, for black. Uh, the usual move here is knight c6, preventing uh, before. But here uh, it was necessary to calculate uh, vari variation uh, with bishop b5. 
position uh, is uh, very similar uh, with reverse uh, color uh, Queen's uh, Gambit uh, position. And now uh, white is trying to protect uh, pawn on uh, c5. The main line here is Queen a5 check, Knight c3. Now the threat is a3 and b4. And uh, black has to hurry. So a6, bishop takes b6, uh, bishop takes c6, b takes c6. Uh, queen d4. It seems that white has a uh, huge advantage because uh, there is no defense out of uh, before move. But uh, uh, here uh, black has his uh, counterplay. He can play e6. And now what to do? If before, then queen a3. This is a very strong move with idea a5 to break white's pawn chain. And white doesn't have time uh, to trap the queen. Rook b1 is not working because of a5 and after rook b3 uh, black has very strong queen c1 move. So rook b1 is not working and how to uh, defend out of uh, a5 move. Bishop c7 here is also doesn't work because a black has excellent shot a5 a anyway because a bishop takes a5 is bad here black has very strong sacrifice rook takes a5 b takes a5 bishop takes c5 and now because of the a pin uh, on the diagonal e1 a5 uh, white cannot save uh, his knight on c3 for example if he plays queen g3 then simply queen takes a5 adding another threat bishop a6 and after knight e2 knight e4 uh, now uh, black wins uh, because there is no defense out of uh, bishop a6 move so here uh, it seems that uh, uh, the only uh, good possibility is to play uh, bishop d6 but after uh, bishop takes d6 c takes d6 a castle a pawn on uh, d6 a white pawn on d6 is weak and a black uh, has a good uh, counter chances here So, uh, knight c6 was also possible, but uh, as I said before, I decided uh, to go uh, to the line played by Andrew Chang, trying uh, to show a uh, very nice idea. I played e6, b4, a5, c3 bishop d7 and here uh, the idea of bishop d7 is uh, to play uh, a takes b4 c takes b4 b6 uh, winning uh, uh, the pawn back and uh, to get uh, very good uh, uh, counterplay knight d2 this also 
uh, everything uh, was uh, played in the Andrew Tang game. C takes, A takes B4, C takes B4, B6, C takes B6, Bishop takes B4, Bishop C7, Queen E7. It seems that uh, White's position is excellent. Uh, very strong pawn on uh, B7 on B6. Uh, White even uh, can win a knight uh, B8 after B7. And Andrew Ten played B7 here. Rook A3. Uh, bishop takes b8, bishop a4, queen c1. Also, uh, if uh, white plays uh, bishop e5 here, then uh, with idea b8, queen, then queen takes b7. Uh, white has extra uh, piece here, but uh, uh, black is very well developed. His uh, pieces are extremely strong. I need uh, just castle and to bring another rook into the play. And it's very hard to uh, finish wise development. So uh, here uh, position is still uh, very uh, unclear and uh, there are many uh, just uh, co computer lines, which uh, it, uh, it's, it's impossible to calculate uh, everything during the game. Uh, for example, uh, after uh, Queen B1 here, uh, Black can play D4, this just com computer, computer's move. Uh, after Bishop takes d4, there is another move, e5. You can uh, check everything uh, with your, your computers. And after bishop takes e5, uh, bishop takes uh, d2, uh, black has a uh, very uh, strong compensation. King takes d2, queen d5. Bishop d4, queen a5, and now uh, he, he can uh, make a draw after uh, queen c6, queen a2, and uh, white has a, a extra piece, and a black uh, is forced to uh, ma make a draw here. Uh, so this was one of the lines in the game uh, Andrew Tank played Queen C1 it was his game uh, versus Australian Grandmaster Smirnov and after uh, Queen C1 Queen takes B7 Bishop F5 was played. Also, uh, there are a few uh, more moves uh, in this position, uh, but uh, they are uh, not so good. So, uh, queen c7 is losing because of bishop takes d2. And after uh, the only move king e2, because uh, king takes d2 is impossible because of uh, queen b2 win the game. If king e2 here, then simply queen b5, king f3, uh, queen b4. And now the threat of checkmate forces white to uh, give up uh, the piece. He has to play queen c8, king e7, check. And after uh, bishop d7, 
he has to pay uh, to give up uh, the piece and uh, black uh, has winning position. So queen c7 is bad here. In the game, uh, Andrew Tang played bishop e5, knight e4, knight gf3, castle. Very strong uh, threat, rook c8 and rook c2. And the tank played bishop e2, rook c8. Now, if uh, queen b2, then rook c2, queen d4, take, take. And here, uh, e even uh, black uh, uh, can play can take on d2 with uh, either with a rook or with a bishop um, his position is uh, completely winning uh, so uh, queen b2 is bad queen b1 uh, here uh, black played f6 in the game Tank Smirnov, and uh, this move allows White to finish his development. Uh, uh, in this position, uh, White has extra piece, and he can give up uh, this extra piece. But uh, after Castle, White has very good uh, position uh, because uh, now. Uh, after knight takes d2, uh, knight takes d2, f takes e5, there is a uh, very strong move bishop g4. And white won that game. Uh, when I analyzed uh, this entire variation, I went to this position and I paid attention that uh, black has excellent idea here which wins the game immediately uh, can any anybody uh, find this very nice idea idea can you write in the chat please what black can do Bishop c2 is possible, but uh, what to do after queen b2? Queen b2, queen is protected on b2 with bishop on e5. And it's unclear how to uh, develop, develop Black's initiative. Okay, uh, I, I can show you uh, this idea, um, very nice idea. Uh, if uh, uh, bishop takes d2, then knight takes d2. You, you should start with knight takes d2 instead. Yes, knight takes d2. Uh, after f6, uh, this is possible, but uh, it uh, will be a similar position uh, like it was uh, in the game uh, tank uh, Smirnov. After f6, uh, there is castle. And now, after f6, e5, bishop g4. And uh, this position happened in the game uh, tank uh, Smirnov and white won. N now, white uh, uh, has finished. Uh, development and uh, he has very, very good uh, chances so what do you think what is uh, black's idea here
the, the main uh, very nice idea was bishop takes d2 check king takes d2 and now suddenly black wins immediately he has excellent move rook b3 after this there is no any way uh, how to uh, save the game for example if white takes with the pawn then after queen b4 uh, the only move is king d1 otherwise uh, after king d3 uh, bishop b5 checkmate so king d1 white has to give up the queen and here after f6 uh, white still has uh, material advantage but uh, black's uh, pieces uh, black black's uh, uh, queen and rook are very strong and also after f6 bishop d4 e5 bishop g4 uh, black has simply rook c2 uh, winning uh, bishop on d4 winning ma material also uh, the castle is uh, uh, not, not uh, allowed here because uh, white kings has already uh, moved and uh, white's position is hopeless so if uh, white uh, taken on b3 uh, with the queen then after rook c1 uh, bishop c4 uh, position is not uh, so winning for black as it was before but uh, also uh, black has excellent chances uh, for win also after rook b3 uh, bishop c3 is possible but uh, also uh, black has much better position here for example uh, he can start with d4 bishop takes d4 check queen c3 queen d5 uh, trying to win pawn on g2 uh, so black has great initiative here and his position is almost uh, winning so when I uh, found this uh, idea I decided uh, uh, to go to this line uh, in the game versus uh, Max Lugge but uh, uh, when uh, we got this position uh, uh, Max uh, was thinking uh, for a long time and uh, uh, probably uh, he felt that uh, I prepared something here and he decided uh, to play knight g to f3 instead of b7 after this uh, black has also a good initiative I played bishop a4 and here another uh, wise opportunity he can play either queen c1 or queen b1 and also uh, there is a queen takes a4 uh, queen sacrifice and I, I had uh, a big advantage in this game because uh, everything this I analyzed uh, at home with a computer and uh, when Max uh, 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 was thinking uh, in this position it was uh, very hard to calculate and uh, not uh, only calculate but also evaluate uh, position and uh, he can get uh, in a few moves so 
he decided to sacrifice a queen, queen takes a4. But also uh, queen c1 or queen uh, b1 uh, were possible. Uh, but the, in, in this case, uh, d despite a very strong pawn on b6, uh, black has uh, good chances in the game. After castle, a3, uh, black can simply play uh, bishop d6, probably the, the simplest uh, way to equalize. Uh, take, take, queen b4, queen d7. Now, if uh, white plays knight uh, e5, then uh, queen b7, uh, white uh, has time uh, to finish his development, but uh, he does have time to protect a uh, pawn on b6. And after knight d7, knight takes d7, knight takes d7, rook b1, rook fb8, uh, black uh, wins pawn b6, and uh, has a very good uh, pawn structure, and uh, easy, easy play. So black, at, at least uh, black uh, can equalize this position. Uh, the si similar uh, line is uh, with uh, queen c1. Castle, a3, bishop d6, bishop e2, take on c7, take, take, knight bd7, castle, rook a7, rook c1, rook c8. Uh, black queen spawn on c7, and the end game is approximately equal, uh, even uh, with uh, slightly better. Uh, chances for black because uh, he has a one pound island and a black uh, and white has two pound islands and uh, a pound on a3 might be weak. So uh, after queen c1 and queen b1, black could equalize, but uh, Marx decided to play for a win with uh, queen sacrifice. Queen takes a4, rook takes a4, bishop b5, knight fd7, take on a4, castle. Uh, what to do uh, with white? He needs to, uh, to finish his development. For example, if he uh, plays castle, what uh, white could do? What would you do uh, for white? Can anybody write in the chat? Okay, uh, black has a uh, very, very strong uh, move knight xb6 here win the pawn on b6 because now after bishop takes b6 uh, bishop d2 knight takes d2 queen b4 this tri triple attack on both bishops and the knight and uh, black has extra material here so after castle, uh, it seems that white is forced to capture on d7 to avoid knight takes b6. Queen takes d7, a4, trying to defend pawn on b6 with another pawn, a4. Knight a6. Uh, this knight is very important uh, for black. Now after knight e5, 
played in the game. A queen e7, knight c6, queen c5. Uh, also, it was possible uh, queen f6 move, but here uh, white has additional chances. Uh, he can castle and uh, to, to he can give up the uh, uh, peace knight. And now uh, white has very two very strong uh, past connected pawns. Uh, bishop e5, queen g5, bishop f4. Uh, so it's unclear uh, how black can uh, get uh, winning chances. So I, I decided to play for a win in this position. Instead of queen f6, I played queen c5. Take on b4, take on b4. And here uh, knight takes c7 is a threat and also white does have time uh, to finish his development. The knight uh, on uh, d2 is hanging. So white played rook b1. Also uh, king e2 here is not helping uh, to finish development. Uh, because after king e2 there is uh, queen g4 move and after knight f3 queen c4 king d2 knight c5 uh, black has very strong attack and another uh, sacrifice uh, knight b3 is very strong threat and another uh, rook, uh, 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 sacrifice getting very strong uh, two past pawn uh, with uh, two minor pieces versus a queen uh, uh, is not helping white because after knight d4 there is very strong opportunity uh, queen b4 king d1 that's the only move and now another very strong shot e5 so white cannot uh, give up his uh, b6 pawn he has to play knight b2 but after queen b2 uh, black is just on time to create his counterplay for example after a5 he has very strong d4 move now d3 is a threat and after bishop takes e5, rook c8, attacking the knight on c2. And after the only move, rook c1, another shot, queen b5. Now the threat is queen d3 check. And after bishop takes d4, queen d3, white does have time to promote his pawns and uh, black simply has extra queen b7 is impossible because of queen b1 and a6 is all after a6 uh, white also uh, loses his pawn a after a uh, few checks so uh, max decided to play rook b1 here queen a5 uh, the threat is uh, just uh, to take uh, bishop on d6, bishop d6, rook d8, uh, bishop g3. Uh, this position uh, was in my home preparation uh, before the game. And uh, now you can see how important uh, can be this uh, preparation how important is to find some uh, good idea is the uh, variation which uh, your opponent can play in the game. Uh, first of all, uh, you can save a lot of, a lot of energy. And the second, 
uh, opponents uh, cannot uh, calculate uh, all uh, variations uh, during the game uh, over the board. Uh, it's necessary to have computers help in such crazy positions. And uh, here I play d4, and probably uh, white should try uh, to give up uh, his knight on d2, uh, because, uh, but uh, to uh, finish his development, uh, he, he could try castle, queen takes d2, rook fd1, and uh, after that, uh, white can promote his pawn uh, b, winning the knight on a6, and uh, white can uh, try uh, to create fortress with uh, rook and uh, bishop versus queen uh, on the uh, with pawns on the uh, king side. So uh, I think that it, it was. Uh, uh, almost the la last uh, chance uh, to escape this game. But Max uh, decided uh, to keep uh, King in the center uh, for a while, uh, protecting Knight on the 2. He played e4. After this, uh, his threat is to play b7, then maybe b8. And if uh, White tries to uh, capture pawn on a4, then uh, white will have time to castle. So, uh, what to do for black? First of all, it's necessary to restrict uh, a white bishop on uh, g3. So, I played e5. Again, uh, it was possible to give up uh, the knight and uh, finish development, but uh, now uh, very important is uh, pawn uh, d. For example, after castle, queen takes d2, d3, for example, bishop b7, uh, bishop c7, rook d8, b7, and th in this position uh, the threat is b8, but uh, black has another uh, shot here to create a square for the king, and uh, at the same time uh, black can attack white pawn. There is a 5 move. Very strong move, and after that, for example, bishop e5, b takes f takes e4, queen, uh, king f7, and uh, black has winning position with extra queen. So Max played b7 instead, f6. Another uh, idea here uh, after f6 uh, probably i can play g5 uh, to prevent f4 uh, and a white bishop on g3 will be in jail forever so white played f4 rook b8 f takes e5 f takes e5 and finally uh, he castle here uh, gain up the knight, but now it's uh, too late. Also, uh, king e2 was possible. A another uh, chance. And, uh, but after king e2, black has one more shot. What uh, white could do, could do here? What do you see? Anybody 
can suggest suggest a move here please write uh, in the chat It might be for uh, is possible uh, cor correct, but uh, uh, after night night before uh, probably uh, white can play something like knight c4, trying uh, to win pawn on e5. Also, uh, probably uh, black's position is uh, also. Uh, much better, but uh, black has uh, better move. Yes, d3. d3 is uh, the best move here. Now, after a king e3, knight b4 is uh, uh, decisive because uh, here. Uh, Rook takes b4, then uh, simply uh, uh, queen takes b4, uh, also uh, queen c5 check is e even better, but uh, if uh, uh, knight takes e5, then white, uh, black has knight c5 move. After knight f3, simply knight takes b7, continuing attack on the king, and uh, also black uh, has decisive material advantage here. So that's why white played castle, take bishop e5, but now I, I don't need uh, to keep uh, the piece on b8. I played rook f8. Uh, knight is guardian uh, b8 square, and the best what uh, white can get is uh, uh, position with rook and bishop uh, versus queen. But uh, uh, d, uh, black d pawn is decisive here. White played knight d1, queen e3, and d3. There is no uh, way how to uh, defend. Uh, black uh, played, uh, white played uh, bishop d6. And now uh, I, I could uh, keep my uh, rook on the 8th rank. But uh, after, for example, uh, rook e8, e5, it's unclear uh, how to uh, continue uh, to win. Uh, my rook is needed here uh, in the attack. I played rook f2, creating another threat uh, besides uh, protecting uh, b8 square. Uh, a rook is not uh, necessary, but on f2 it's a uh, very strong uh, piece. Now queen takes e4 uh, is a threat with matching attack. Also uh, there is another uh, setup. I can put pawn on d2, rook e2, and then rook e1, uh, winning uh, the game. So in the game uh, was played uh, bishop g3. Rook e2, queen, knight takes, rook takes, queen f7. Uh, queen f7. Uh, here it was played uh, rook g1, also after uh, rook b7, black can play king g6, rook g1, d2, rook b1. And how to uh, win the game? Uh, bishop on g3 is protecting e1 square, both rooks also protecting e1 square. And now uh, white is ready uh, to uh, push his pawn 
uh, a a5 a6 I'm trying to uh, promote his pawn after rook a1 and to create some threats uh, what is the way uh, for black how he can uh, continue how he can win what do you think anybody please uh, write in the chat what is your suggestion if uh, a queen takes e4 uh, yes yeah, this uh, uh, rook takes g2 the threat uh, but what to do after rook a1 I'm protecting uh, pawn on a4 and also uh, trying uh, to push my pawn a5, a6, a7 as quickly as possible. But pro probably uh, queen e4 is also uh, winning. I think that uh, the best uh, move here is to play h5. What do you think? What is the idea of H5 move? Yes, H5 uh, is the best move, uh, but uh, what is the idea of this move? And uh, yeah, yeah, remove uh, the bishop, but uh, what is the way? For example, if I play a5 here, king g5, then uh, maybe I, I, I can play a6, h4, and take, yeah, king g5, a6, h4, right? And here, uh, Probably this uh, a a a anyway, winning. But if I uh, take, take, yeah, this uh, rookie one is winning. Yeah, probably this al also okay. But uh, uh, after h5, a5, uh, black uh, is. Uh, not n needed uh, to play king g5. He can play h4 immediately. All right, and after uh, bishop takes h4, uh, queen e4. Uh, now the pa uh, bishop is hanging. Uh, rook uh, takes g2 is not a threat because uh, white uh, takes on uh, g2 with a check. But uh, there is no square uh, for the uh, white uh, bishop except of g3. He cannot defend it with g3, but uh, after uh, bishop g3, now rook takes g2 is uh, possible. And also, uh, you, you, you cannot, uh, uh, so you, you can uh, move uh, your rook from b1 with a check, rook b6. But a a anyway, after king h7, uh, now uh, d1 is a threat after uh, rook takes g2. So d1 is winning. So uh, this is the, the uh, easiest way uh, to win h4, take, king takes e4, and rook takes g2. Uh, black wins. In the game, uh, Max uh, played rook g1. I took on e4, a5, d2. Now uh, rook e1 is the threat, as well as uh, rook takes g2. White played uh, rook d8, king e7, and 
uh, white rook does have squares on a g file after rook g6 i played uh, queen e3 and there is no defense out of uh, rook e1 uh, move so you see uh, uh, how important uh, was home preparation and uh, sometimes you can prepare uh, something special in the very, very uh, rare uh, line which is uh, not uh, very popular uh, of course the bishop f4 line is very popular now but uh, this particular line uh, happened just in a few games and it was very helpful uh, for me to analyze everything uh, before the game using computer help and also to find all ideas uh, in this position uh, also uh, uh, there were uh, a few games played after uh, this game and uh, black uh, was able uh, to prove that his position is uh, very uh, uh, good and uh, he uh, B black uh, showed uh, very nice results uh, he uh, black, black uh, won almost uh, all his games play, played uh, in this line and uh, it, it also it was uh, very important to prep, uh, have a good preparation because uh, the, your opponent cannot be sure that uh, you didn't find and you didn't calculate all variations uh, with computer help so uh, you see that uh, in the game white tried to uh, deviate uh, from the main lines uh, for example it was a very important moment when instead of uh, playing for some small advantage in, in this position uh, white decided to sacrifice his queen uh, because uh, he could not calculate all variations and it was uh, very hard to evaluate a position uh, which uh, white could get after this sacrifice and uh, this is the way how you can prepare to the particular game uh, when you know uh, what uh, your opponent uh, plays usually and you can prepare a big surprise for him so uh, I think that uh, this example uh, was quite helpful for you and you can use uh, this knowledge in your uh, games in the future okay. thank you for joining us and see you next time